Okay, it's time for question 12, which is the one with the um, where you, you're going to want to use a Venn diagram. This has the three clubs, the three extracurricular clubs. There's the cross-country team, there is the robotics club, and the guitar club. And we know a bunch of information, and I'm going to put it into a diagram in just a second, except for one thing I'm not going to write in the diagram just yet. We do know that the total number of students participating in cross country is uh, 38, in the robotics club is 37, and in the guitar club is 44. So these are the total number of students taking these things, but there will be overlap. These are not all unique students. So let's draw ourselves a picture to represent all of this information. So here we're going to have three clubs. And you can see the overlapping sections. So I'm going to put cross country uh, here. I'm going to put the guitar club here and the robotics club here. And remember, this is the universal set, the whole thing. And we know from the question, uh, after I modified it and included this value, there are 35 students who do not participate. There are a total of 111 students. So the size of the universal set is 111 but then there are a bunch of non-participating students. So if we take 111 minus 35, we see that there are uh, 76 participating students. That's how many students participate in extracurriculars. And you can see 76 is a lot less than the sum of these three numbers. So there has to be some overlap between these different, uh, these different groups. So let's look at what overlap we do know about. So there are, um, we don't know this value in here yet. I'm going to call it x. This is the value that we're looking for, how many students are participating in all three clubs. Uh, but we do know some other stuff. So we know from the question, let me look at this in order, um, five students participate in robotics and cross country. So there's cross country, there's robotics. So five students participate in both. That's this whole leaf shaped section here with these two regions. Uh, include five students. So this is some number, and this is five minus that number. So if this was a four here, for example, this would be one. That's the idea. So x and five minus x together, that adds up to five students. Uh, the next piece, there are 26 students in robotics and guitar. That is here, this spot. So 26 minus x. And the last location up here, 15 students, 15 minus x. 15 students participate in this area right here. So 15 minus X are the students who participate in just cross country and guitar, but not also in robotics. All right, so we have all of that information. I'm just gonna use this, this piece of information up here right now. So if we were to add up all three of these values, so let me do that right now, 38 plus 37 plus 44. If we were to do that, that would be adding up these three entire circles. You'll notice I didn't fill in these values here because we don't know those yet. If I added up these three circles here, here, and here, when I do that, I get a bunch of overlap. So when I add these two circles, I have counted this region here twice, and this region twice, and this region twice, and this region in the center, I will have counted three times. So what that means is I'm, I, I know how much I have overcounted by. This, amount, this value here is going to be 76, the actual number of students, plus my overcounting. There are 76 students in total in these three sections. So if I get more than that value, that's how much I've overcounted by. So let's see um, how to articulate this. We have overcounted by this amount here once, right? 15 minus x, I've overcounted by once. So 76 plus. 15 minus x. I've also overcounted by this value here, 26 minus x. And this value here, oops, sorry, there's a plus sign in there, 5 minus x. And I've overcounted by this value twice, plus 2x. Get a little close to the edge of my page here. I'm just going to move up now because I think we can do this all uh, pretty quickly. So this value here, add that up, that's 119. And here, 
Uh, 76 plus all this. Well, we better expand all this out here so that we see what our value is. 76 plus 15 minus x plus 26 minus another x plus 5 minus another x plus 2x. Let me grab a color here for a second and show the x's. There's a minus x, minus x, minus x, and a plus 2x. So that uh, the net of all that is a negative x, right? So that's 119. And then when you add these other uh, constant values up, you're going to get 122. We have a minus x as our net. Rearrange that, and we get x equals 3. That means there are three students that in that center region here that participate in all three clubs. So then that means there are 12 here, 23 here, 2 here, and you can work out the values for the other um, regions too to see how many participate, for example, only in Guitar Club. Uh, so that's it. That's the end of the question.